Hi, welcome to educator.com. This entire lesson is about one property, the display property. So these are uh, all the possible values for the display property. Um, obviously you have the property here of display. Um, and then this first line here in the darker black is uh, the more common values that you'll use. And then this list here of all these other uh, property values, I've grayed out and I made them a little bit smaller because they're a lot less important. You will very rarely use them. Um, they're not well supported across lots of different browsers. Um, and you can pretty much get away with not knowing them for now, um, unless you run into something really advanced in the future. Um, I've never used any of these actually. Um, for example, like most of these have to do with tables um, for um, making CSS tables, which is only, uh, it's not even uh, supported yet. It, it will be more supported in the future, but it's only recently become supported in major versions of, of browsers. Um, so, but block, inline, inline block, and none are the main ones you'll need to worry about. And then I've also included in this lesson visibility because it's very similar to the display uh, effects when you're using the none. Uh, value. So um, I'm going to pull up just a quick little demo. This is uh, just two divs. Let's look at the code for you. Um, it's just this div, a container div, and then a contained div. Um, and right now I've just got some code to give it some color. Um, but if we wanted to give it a display, um, position of uh, inline, uh, just to kind of get us started, refresh it, um, nothing really happens because of, uh, of what, the, uh, what the property is. Um, now if we're to make this display a block, or actually let's make it, let's double this up. two and save so now this is making both of the inside ones um, display of inline Oops. now they're inline and this this is something more like text um, and it, you actually if I didn't have the green bordering, it would, you wouldn't be able to tell that there were divs around these. They would just kind of flow into it like that. Um, and we can obviously change this to block again, which makes it the block level element. So um, right off the bat, it's pretty clear that um, these are basically equivalent to um, the HTML um, content types of block and inline, um, which is what we had in HTML4 and HTML5. They're kind of different, but you still are around. Um, and uh, that's basically uh, the, the main thing that they do.